In this video, let's have a look at the starter sites that you can use from Astra, both free and those that come with the agency pack. So actually, this site that I've got here is done with one of those starter sites created with Brizzy. One of the things you have to know off the bat, and there I just clicked on homepage again, let's go to a different page. One of the things you have to know off the bat is that when it comes to collaborations or rather using themes, is that you are doing kind of a balance between the page builder, which is Brizzy, and then the theme. Some things will be done by the theme and some things will be done by the page builder. Unless you want, if you want to have full control with just Brizzy, then you have to go for Brizzy Pro. And as such, what I've got here is actually a site with WooCommerce to allow me to publish my shop online that is done with Astra, which is running the WooCommerce section over here. And then you have your other pages like the About Us page, my home page that is done with Brizzy. This is just one example. And you can import this site. This is a free site. And then all you need to do is go change out your shop, your products, and then of course the content. And that's what a starter site allows you to do. Let me show you how to do this. I'll go into WordPress, into the back end. And most possibly, you already have something going on here, which means that this is not a vanilla install. It's not a pure new installation of WordPress. If it is, you can skip the following step. If it is not, if you've already got some content here or you've played around, the best is to do a reset on this page. And for that, I recommend you get a WordPress plugin to reset it, and then you only start with the starter sites. So I've got this page here, and what I'll do is I'll go to plugins and I'll click on add new. And there are so many you can choose from. I'm already using one, and you simply go there, and in your keyword search, I look for reset. And then this is a very popular one, 200,000 plus active installations. So this number is just an indication, but you can go ahead and test around. I usually use this one WordPress reset. No reason, purely because I've used it and I just kept using it. You know, you get used to it and in the end, you don't even know anymore why do you use it. This one is super popular. You can try it out, install it. But because I have already installed this, I'm going to click on activate. And then just to show you in my plugins folder what we've got here. So we've got the Brizzy, we've got starter templates. That's from Brainstorm Force, the same guys who give us Astra. We've got WooCommerce, more WooCommerce, WP Forms Lite. And then we have that WordPress reset that I have installed. Now, what this will do is remove your site and clean it out so that you can bring in your starter sites and it won't mess anything up. I highly recommend you do this even though sometimes many of these importers will tell you they can clean out your site for you, they don't do a spectacular job, usually at it. To find the settings for this, go to Tools, there's Reset, and then it's going to make sure I definitely want to clean out my site. I have to retype their Reset, click on Reset, and then it's going to say again, hey, dude, are you sure? Okay, and this is going to take no time, and then my site is Reset, and it's to the vanilla installation. If I click here and go to the front end now, you will see that this is our good friend 2020, and it's a clean installation. Now I go back to the back end. I'm just gonna go to my posts just to clean out these things that I don't want. Pages, same. Select them, move to trash, apply. And now we go to our themes because we need to have the Astra theme to work with these starter sites. I click on themes and you will see that Astra is already here because I had installed it. The reset function will leave your themes in, but it will just deactivate it. Let me just go ahead and delete it. So I click on it and delete, and then we bring it in again. So I can show you from the beginning how to do that. I want to bring in the Astra theme, click on add new. And from the WordPress repository, we search for Astra, A-S-T-R-A. And I think these guys were so sneaky. I saw them earlier this year. Suddenly there's this theme called Astro. Smart, smart, smart. Right, so let's click here on Install. And then once you've installed it, you click on Activate. And from here, click on Get Started. This will take you to the options of Astra. 
activating. Oh, this is the starter template. So, yep, you go ahead and you click on that. It will give you the option. So what they have for their starter templates for a number of page builders, good old Beaver Builder, then Gutenberg, Elementor, and then Brizzy. We select Brizzy. And you see all the starter sites, I think quite a number. I think, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times four, 40, 40 sites. Not bad, not bad. But you will notice that some of them says agency at the top. And these are premium ones, which means you need to sign up for the agency bundle with Astra. So what the agency bundle is, it gives you Astra Pro, the theme pro, as well as a few other goodies. Follow the link in the description below. But just to show you, if I jump over to the Astra site, yeah, they show you all the agency layouts that come with it. And here are the free ones. And this is part of their agency bundle. If I go here to pricing, you'll see that this is included, this agency starter templates or starter sites or demo sites. It's included in these bundles. So you get 20 free ones under Astra Pro. You need to either go for the mini agency bundle or the agency bundle. And you can have a look here what the differences are between these two. And you have the option between annual and lifetime. But we're working with the free one, so you can also just go and test the free one. From here, you select the one that you want to import. And we imported this one previously, so let's choose a different one. I'll just go up here and select free, so we only focus on the free ones. Mm -hmm. She looks so angry. Residential and commercial cleaning. Oh, oh, okay, got it. Mm, the mountain. Let's start with the mountain. And as you click on it, it's going to show you a preview. Oh, this is a one pager. Let's let's go for something more than just a one pager. Click back here. Conference event, right? It's also a one pager. Lucky me. Co-working space. Let's see. Okay, co-working space has a number of pages. It's got a home about amenities, <laughs> pricing and contact. I love it when people go for big words, amenities. But I guess for a conferencing space, you do need that. What are your amenities, Mr. Smith? Now you have the option here to just import one of these pages if you just want to use one. If I want to use this contact page only, I click on the contact page and then I will select here in the bottom, import contact template. But I want to import this entire site. And the benefit of doing that is that Astra will go ahead and also set up your menu for you. So you don't have to do anything. The only thing you need to do is go back and change out the content. In that case, you go for import complete site. I click on that and it's going to say you selected website is being imported, delete previously imported site. This is supposed to do what the reset plugin does that I had installed and I had recommended you do a reset before you go and use a starter site. I found that it doesn't always work perfectly. So even though they have this option in here, I still recommend go and do a hard reset and then come back here and then you can still click it here and it will give you some warning, same warning that we got with the reset. But I just feel that when I use the reset plugin, I get better results. You have to leave these on because if you don't, some of the settings that you see here will not be imported. And I found again, if you import a starter site and you deselect some of these, the site just gives you problems. That is a major drawback of any pre-made layout is somebody else designed it, they've made changes to it, and you don't really know how they got there. I think it's one of the biggest caveats in using a pre-made site or any kind of layout is that if you're not 100% familiar with the product, you don't always know how to make those changes. And that's why even if you are a newcomer, don't just dive into the pre-made sites. Learn the builder, learn the theme so you can understand where to make those changes. Click on import and it's going to bring in all the plugins that you need. It's going to bring in all the content that you need, depending on two things, your internet speed, as well as the amount of content. This can go very quickly or it can take ages. Most cases, go make yourself a cup of tea 
and then come back, things should be honky-dory. I'm actually going to take a sip of my coffee now, and I'm pretty sure it's going to say import complete, yep, before I can even get to my cup of coffee. View site. So, well, we can close here, but let's go and view site. It opens a new tab in the browser, and now it has imported that site for us. Let's just click on home, bring it in, and there you go. So your site is fully set up. What is this co-working space? And if you are working with an agency or a small business, this is perfect. In this case, you will see here in the WordPress toolbar, it says edit page with Brizzy. If I click on edit page with Brizzy, it takes me there into the land of Brizzy. And then simply go ahead, swap out images, change your text and make it yours. Right. This is back into the builder. Simple to make these changes. This is where the global styling becomes very useful. If I go here to the sidebar and I click on styling, you will see that this had imported the color settings for the site. If I click here on this and the swatch, you see it has used this one over here. If I want to make changes, then I simply go to this color and I can bring in the color that I want. And voila, you update it very, very quickly. Do that not only to the colors, but you can also do that here. So if I click on my paragraph style, it's currently set to Roboto Slab. I guess that's what we see over here. What I can do is maybe change it to Lato, and you see it updates very quickly. Let's choose one that's a little bit more obvious, Playfair Display. Quickly updated, Noto Serif. That's great. You make these changes across board very easily. Drop it back on Roboto Slab, and you can also make changes here, not only to the size and the topography, but also you can go into the various displays for tablet. But I would recommend you just go into tablet when you want to do that. As simple as that. If you have imported the site, and I'll close here, I'm not going to save anything. I'll go back into the back end. If you have imported the site like we've done here, let's go to pages and you'll see all the pages have been created over here. And you think, yeah, no, I didn't want this. I think I rather want to go with another starter site. Then you have to go through that little procedure again, plugins, install plugins, and you've already installed a reset plugin that I have here, WordPress reset. You activate it again, and then you go through the whole reset process. That is why that before you bring in any of these, Let's go to the Astra settings. You go to Appearance and then Starter Templates. Before you bring in any of these sites, you load them or import them, you can preview them all. And I would recommend you do that first. So let's select three again. If I go here to this agency site and I click on it, you see your four pages here. Go through them, decide whether you want to look at them, and if you think, yeah, maybe another one, you can simply go back and select another one, like this personal fitness trainer. If you want to see it in action, you click here on preview personal fitness trainer site, this little button here in the bottom. Click on that. It's going to open a live demo for you. You see it even says website demos.net. A little glitch over there. And now you can see the site as it is and will display to a visitor who comes to this site. And if this appeals to you, then you go back, you go through the process, you clean out your WordPress installation, you set everything up again, you activate them all, and then you install it and import the complete site. Great, so you've got these free ones to play around with, then you've got those pro ones with an agency, and you even have demos for other page builders if you have to use them as well. Let's call that a wrap. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe. See you in the next video.